Hey data fans, Reed here. Today I'm extremely excited to showcase a new Power Query feature called Text from Example. Similar to the Columns by Example feature, this lets you tell Power Query how you want the resulting table shape to be in regards to the columns and rows, and it automatically creates the applied steps necessary to achieve this. It's nothing short of amazing. So let's go ahead, hop into Power BI, and see this feature in action. So to start with, I want to show you the table that I extracted using the text by examples function. As you can see over here on the right, a lot of different applied steps was automatically created. I didn't make any of these myself. Each one of these was generated with a script when I just gave it a few examples. Just to show you what I'm talking about, this is what the data started out with before I gave it some examples and ending up with a final result of this. So it's really, really cool stuff that I'm super happy finally got implemented into Power BI. So let's go ahead and walk through how to do this. I'm going to come up to New Source, go to Text and CSV. I'm going to navigate to my data file here. This will be included in the download on my blog file section for anybody that downloads this, so they can either test the report or the data file itself. I'm going to connect to this. And what we have up here is data.csv, file origin, etc. all these things at the top, typical things that we've seen for quite a while in Power BI. However, there's a new thing down at the bottom, extract table using examples. And what you do is you just build out the examples here of the column and then the data that you expect to see in here. So to start with, what I want to do is I want to grab the telephone number from the top here. I'm going to go ahead and call this phone number, and then the value will be 4055629. There we go. And it looks like it's still grabbing some other weird data in there, so let's give it a few more examples. Scrolling down here, we can see that there is a 2532914. There we go. And now the examples have changed, so we can actually see that the next one is 217. Scrolling down, that's correct. Scrolling down again, 413. Okay, so this one is calculating correctly. And then just continue to build it out like that. If I want my next column, which is gonna be this one here, let's go ahead and assume that's like a zip or postal code. All right, and then I'm gonna do 41188. There we go, and it looks like it's working correctly. Let's check. So 41581, yep, that's the right one. 41970, so on and so forth. So it looks like this is working correctly. And the other ones work the same way. You just continually give it examples and build it out. So I'm going to go ahead and fast forward and put all the rest of them in here. And there you have it. Given all the examples, I built this out. If I hit OK, you can see that it builds my entire query. It starts with the source. It removes the rows as necessary to get it to that first row based on the examples that I gave it. And it fills the rest of these down every single step automatically for me based on the structure that I gave it in the example, which is really, really powerful and really cool. I could have done this myself, but it would have taken a lot more time for me to figure out how to parse that out. So kudos to the Power BI team for making this. This is an awesome, awesome feature for text by example. And that's really all you have to do for this. As long as that structure stays the same, whenever your data changes or if you're doing a combined by folder or anything else, these transformations will continue to work anytime you refresh the file. Thank you so much for watching, and please don't forget to like, comment, or share this video. If this is your first time to my channel, or you want to see more of these awesome videos, smash that subscribe and notification button. And last but not least, you can download the file for today's video from my blog files page using the link down below.